If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. As you create the relationships between the tables in your database, you need to set the properties of the table joins to ensure they are set as you would like. The main join property to set is the referential integrity of the join. Referential integrity refers to the built-in set of rules that Access uses to ensure the relationship between the data within the joined fields of the tables is valid. It ensures every unique value within the related field in the child table, or the many table field in a one-to-many join, has a corresponding value to which it is related in its parent table, or the one table field in a one-to-many join. This ensures when you delete a record in the parent table, or the one table field in a one to many join, that all the related records in the child table or the many table field of the one to many join aren't orphaned or without a reference to a record in the parent table. This also prevents you from having meaningless data in your database tables, like a sale record without a customer reference. To apply referential integrity between fields in a table join, the relationship between the fields within the join table must fall within these rules. First, the related field in the parent table is the primary key within the table. Second, the related fields in both tables must share the same or compatible data types. Third, both tables must belong to the same database. If creating a relationship in Access that follows these rules, you can enforce referential integrity upon it. To enforce referential integrity when creating table joins in Access, check the Enforce Referential Integrity checkbox in the Edit Relationships dialog box that appears when you create a table relationship. Below the Enforce Referential Integrity checkbox, there are two additional options you can apply to table joins with referential integrity. These are the Cascade Update Related Fields and Cascade Delete Related Records options. Checking the Cascade Update Related Fields checkbox ensures if a value is changed in the joined field in the parent table, the change is cascaded to the related values in the joined field of the child table, also updating them. Checking the Cascade Delete Related Records checkbox ensures if you delete a record in the parent table, all the related records in the child table are also deleted. Also note the Join Type button in the Edit Relationships dialog box. Clicking it opens the Join Properties dialog box, which shows the three possible ways to join the data between the tables. You most often will not want to change these settings as you normally want Join Type 1 in a relational database. However, if creating a relationship between non-relational tables in Access for some reason, you can change the relationship join type. If you change the join type setting in this window as part of a join between the tables, note that this permanently alters the way the data between the two tables is related. Most often, this type of join is done temporarily using SQL in a query. However, you can select either option 1, 2, or 3 in the Join Properties dialog box, and then click the OK button to permanently change the join properties and return to the Edit Relationships dialog box. Note that when you choose a join type other than the default of 1, the joins line shown in the relationships window changes to a join arrow. This arrow reflects the direction of the join between the two tables per your selection within the join properties dialog box. After setting any options to apply to the relationship in the edit relationships dialog box, click the create button to set the join relationship. To edit a relationship in the Relationships window in Access in the future to change its settings, double-click the Join line in the Relationships window to view its properties in the Edit Relationship dialog box again. To delete a relationship in the Relationships window in Access, right-click the Table Join to Delete, and then select the Delete command from the pop-up menu that appears. To save your changes in the Relationship window, click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.